Toronto's waterfront has been the success that it's been, I think, because of a couple of key factors. The first one being community participation. We have a fantastic group of community advocates who have really helped inform the decisions we've made and given us the kind of political support that we've needed to get some of the work done. Uh, and then the second is really the mandate that we were given when the three levels of government set up Waterfront Toronto. Uh, that mandate is very progressive. It looks at sustainability, good city building, trying to create a model for the 21st century. And so we've used that mandate, again, to get things done that might otherwise not be able to be done by a more traditional uh, government structure. Yeah, I mean, rivers, lakes, waterfronts of all types are really a city's or region's greatest natural resource. Um, something that has a lot of environmental richness and environmental diversity. Um, and that in and of itself is something to be experienced, particularly within the city, having these moments where you can really experience nature in the city, I think is fantastic. But also the idea that they become the celebratory center of a city I think is very important as well. That's the potential to get people down there to begin to understand the collective space, uh, the collective spirit of a place and how that can really play out along the waterfront both along the shore and even into the water itself. I think these are great opportunities for really uh, establishing a unique uh, local and regional character uh, for a place.